Hey, this is Ryan at GoFab CNC, and I'm here with Coulter today, and we're gonna make a video to show you how to calibrate your engraver and use it to engrave parts. To begin with, we need a piece of metal that we can use for marking, so we toss this piece down. It's good to use these clamps like we have because it's gonna hold that plate solid. That engraver vibrates and it can kind of shift that piece of metal when it's moving. So now that we got this secured, we're gonna put down some crosshairs, just a simple plus sign. And it's important to orient them the same way that your table moves. So we have a front and a back line, which is our Y axis. And then we have a left and a right line, which is our X axis. All right, so we'll move to the tablet and we'll go to the settings button, which is this red button at the bottom left. And then you can see the attachments button. So we'll go inside attachments. And right there it says engraver. It's green, which means it's active. If it was gray, that means it's not active. So we press it to make it green, and then you'll see that edit settings button at the bottom. Now we can go to calibrate engraver. And the first thing we wanna do is move the torch so it's perfectly centered over those crosshairs that we just drew. So we'll start moving the torch over, and it's important to pick a single axis to align first, and then do the, the next axis. So we're going to bring the torch down and we are going to align it on this Y axis line that runs from the front to the back and we're going to make the torch centered on it left to right. So we're going to do that first and we got to get kind of low so that we can see it really close. So we'll get it lined up pretty good. That looks perfect. So now we're going to switch and now we're going to align it front to back using that X line. Oh, looks like we pressed the wrong one. So we'll bring it back a little bit and okay, now we're gonna bring it up and get it centered on that X line. Perfect. Bring it back over, perfect. Now it's centered. All right, so we'll hit the next button and now we're gonna move the engraver to match and be perfectly centered on those crosshairs. So we'll move it over, get it kind of close and once we get it kind of close, we're gonna fire the engraver and then we're gonna walk the engraver over to the center point of that because it's kind of hard to see where it is when it's that high above the metal. So we'll press this fire button right here on the right. That's gonna fire the engraver and now we're gonna use the arrow buttons and walk it over till it's perfectly centered on those crosshairs. Perfect. Now we'll press that same button again and tell it to stop firing. And now we're gonna test fire it one more time just to make sure that it smacks down right in the center of those crosshairs. Perfect. Good deal, we're done. We're gonna press the next button and we're done with the calibration of the engraver. So we'll close out of this. And again, make sure that it's green, that that uh, attachment for the engraver is showing as green. Otherwise you won't have an option to select it later. So we opened up the test square file and you can see we have the part select panel open, which is where you can move your parts around. If you press the cut button, then it's gonna show you, you now have an option between using the plasma cutter or the engraver for this part. So it says this part is being engraved and it turns off the automatic pierce points and the offsets for it because it's gonna engrave directly on the path. We'll send the file. And now we're gonna pick a new starting point and we'll make it different than the one we are using just so we know everything is correct. So we'll set a little start point right here. And when you're using the engraver, you still pick your start point using the torch. So we're gonna move the torch over and place it perfectly centered over those crosshairs and set that as our program start. And when the table starts to engrave, it will know to offset and move over with the engraver to that location and start doing the engraving. So we'll get the torch moved over. Get it lined up left to right. And looks pretty good. So we'll press the set program start button. We've already told the table that we want to engrave this part. So we'll press play press play again on the confirmation screen and there you go see how it moved over so that the engraver was over those crosshairs and we'll get kind of lower so you can see perfect 
started right in the center of those crosshairs. That's it. 